thing if you listen to it if you're a son see we're being nicer the sun represents your associates people you work with relationships that you meet that are like just friends okay so if you hear this and you're a son in taurus obviously this is not for your rising so don't listen to it looking for a relationship um if you're a moon in taurus obviously this is going to be about your personal life relationship business matters for both sun and moon okay so i'm talking to the taurus risings thank you anyways mars we got k2 in here the south node is at eight degrees it'll in February, it'll go into seven degrees. The first half, you're going to see your partner go through family shit. Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, family stuff or fa uh, financial stuff. Some of your finances, Tauruses, comes from your partner. Shout out to that. Um, what else is happening? Another thing that's going on is... You guys are having real conversations. Um, some of you are dealing with your partner's associates or siblings or something like that. Some of you, after the middle of, when is it? After the middle of February, sometime after the 12th of February, your focus is going to be onto stuff like your work more, Tauruses, or your health. You may not see each other more. The routines may be off whack with you guys. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, this is for sun, moon, or rising. So I hope that makes sense for... It's like no cussing in the first or some shit. Okay, okay. We can't curse. You can't curse in the first. They just switched their rules. Okay, no cursing. Um, um, yeah, so basically... Was Tauruses, when February comes, your love department is a little bit, I uh, want to say vulnerable. You guys have a prior, you know, bigger fish to fry, whether it's money, whether it's with family, whether it's with siblings, whether it's you having a real conversation. Some of you Tauruses have, are vulnerable right now, depending, you may not be into that. Some of you are just focused on your, fucking, on your money. There we go. I was going to curse again. So um thank you so much for the strong friend definitely resonated with taurus partner thank thank you see i'm, I'm psychic okay gemini let's go into that we're just moving on okay gem the nine let's go check some stuff out for you gemini what's going on Guac -guac? okay um the sixth to the eleventh Okay, so Gemini, your mood changes around the 10th or the 11th too. So Gemini, some of your mood changes. And some of you Geminis are working on a goal with your partner. If you have a relationship right now, Gemini, look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Go, girl. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, some of you are working on projects with your partner some of you are working on fixing the relationship with your partner some of you are working on a goal some of you are paying attention to the kids distracting yourself gemini um some of you want to have you want to do more things with your friends i feel you on that some of you gemini your partner or you either feel sad or they're fixing things in their home or their you are fixing things in your home some of you uh gemini sun moon or rising again if you're listening to this and you're trying to hear about your relationship stupid i'm sorry um please use your rising sign if you're again sun moon this is not it this might not be the one for you don't listen to it okay so yeah that's what i'm getting jupiter you are working on fixing the relationship with your partner you are either um we're fixing some sh something at home some of your partners are having are out and about more or you're dating one of your friends shout out to that look at you um some gemini's you got bigger fish to fry uh some of you have to fix something and it becomes your priority it depends if you've been if you're a gemini that have a business that's different you got shit to do no offense i'm trying to not car curse but you know this is, i'm having you know so I hope that makes sense. So some of you Geminis are working on your goals. Keep on working. I'm, I mess with that. Some of you are 
fixing things at home or with your partner. So I wish that for you. That's that's what I'm getting. Gemini, does that resonate for those Gemini rising? Wood. My dad's a Gemini. He's woodworking spouse. My mom's a little depressed. Yes. So, yes, yeah, some of you Geminis have a partner who may have some internal battles or even bodily issues going on. Or they're going through something that emotional in their own families. So, I hope that makes sense for you. Um, thank you. My body hits differently. Um, TikTokers, learn! TikTokers. <laughs> I'm here to pick on the TikTokers. You know, just because that's where I met you all. Okay, I meant Joe Biden and 383 Congress members being called out for some BS. Also, don't forget to look up the bill. I will be doing that. I, Ali, love the look up bill 9157. Bet the um, okay, so let's see, let's keep going. What he was doing? Cake, 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 cake. Okay, next person, cancer, fun, cancer. <laughs> I love it here. <laughs> Cancer, um, uh, my, my Gemini friend just got dumped. That makes sense because Gemini could be out with their friends more. I already said it. You already heard it. Anyways, we're not going back. Love you, Gemini. Okay, Cancer. Fun, 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 fun. So Cancers are on the verge of death. <laughs> no offense. I'm sorry, Cancer. Uh, swear to God, this shit is literally gut wrenching there's some cancers literally being held by their intestines um every single day i wish freedom for you my friend um let's see when let's see something hang on let's let, let's see what the fuck happens now <laughs> fun bags okay let's see it's 25 all the way to uh 29 degrees okay so let's see what else i got going on uh, cake, 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 cake. I'm gonna tell you right now. Wow, 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 wow. There's a full moon on the six. Sheesh. Uh, okay, hang on. I'm just looking at pray for no, for real. People don't they, they, they think it's a joke. <laughs> I'm making it a joke. <laughs> they think it's a joke. A bitch is barely making it. Okay. Hey, where we at? Where we okay? So, cancer man, this is gonna be a it's gonna be an interesting one, man. It's gonna be an interesting one. Well, I'm getting from you, cancer, is family stuff. Some of you have family events transpiring, happening with either your partner or your own family because baby, you get hit both corners, don't matter, right. So some of us have to worry about family stuff. Some of us are going through the dark night, the dark night of the soul. <laughs> um, let's see. So let's see. Uh, changes. Some of cancers have big changes going on in their home. Um, they have to figure that out going on. That's a priority. Uh, their home situation, their living situation, the family situation is a priority. You and your partner could be going through financial stuff at the same time. You feel me? Um, we're on the edge, my brother. Let's see. When does it get a little easier? I'm <laughs> sorry. Uh, let's see. Boo, 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 boo. I don't know, man. I don't know if it. I don't know if it'll ever get easier, my brother. Um. Yeah, that's what I'm getting for you, Cancer. Hang on there. Hang in there, my brother. When does it get easier? <laughs> Apparently when we go to, when we die. <laughs> nah, honestly, it's, apparently it should be a little smoother. Um Maybe after the next luminary. Um, no, because that'll make you vulnerable, too. And that's fun. Fun, fun, fun. It'll get easier the 21st. <laughs> the 21st of February. <laughs> um, honestly, but your head span should be a little bit... Maybe by the 12th. I don't know. 
Jeez, we walking right into it. Whatever this shit is about to pop off, send help, please. Just, it don't get easier. It just gets different. How about that? Um, Maybe when Mercury gets into February. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm wishing that for you, my friend. Why? Because we're going to have luminaries in our, in the vulnerable houses. So, fun, fun. So, hang in there. Hang in there, Cancer Rising, Sun, Moon, and mainly Cancer Rising. They know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> it is the ghetto for sure. It is very heavy. So, wish you luck out there with the family. And at least um, we're going to get money eventually if you have some money problems. So, shout out to that. Um, apparently, Mars and Gemini is in the 12th house. So, and it's going to be out of retrograde. Here, I'll give you this. Baby, back, we backing into our scamming ways. So, Cancer, if you scamming, and if you out here getting to the second bag out under the books, I'm, you go, girl, boys. I'm sorry. So, at least, I think Gemini, Mars, and the 12th house is going to help us um, f uh, find something. Escapisms. <laughs> we gonna, I know you're going to find an escapism. When did, when I, I feel, I'm going to tell you when we're going to find an escapism. Uh, by the 5th of February... I think we all would find an escapism. You you go, girl. Cancer, you escape that shit. All right? So, I'll leave it all there. Cancer rising, heavy six months. <laughs> we just get involved. We got this, y'all. All right. Up next, what we got? Who we got next? Um, all right, Leo. Your turn. All right, Leo, sun, moon, and rising. This fits better if you are Leo rising. If you're a sun, listen to it for work. Or your associates, if you're a moon and Leo, listen to it for personal stuff, like family and shit like that. Um, okay, Leo, what's going on? What's going on with you? You are focused on your partners, or you're focused on your, uh, making a decision, though. All Leos are forced to make a decision this February. Excuse me. Um, and I'm gonna give you an advice, Leo, because you're gonna have nodes. It's been heavy there. I'll give you an advice, Leo. If you're a Leo, sun, moon, or rising, just know that Aquarius is ruled by duality. And Leo, sometimes your partner's decisions will not fit you. So if you're a Leo that's dating somebody, uh, you're listening to your partners can f mess you up real bad because the North node is not a friend to the sun. Neither is the Uranus. It's not a friend to the sun. So being that those two are friends to your partners or the decisions that you make. So like a lot of Leos have to make a decisions or they have a, a, a responsibility or a priority immediately. I need you to focus on that priority more than anything. Uh, whether it's business, whether it's work, whether it's your health, whether because you feeling that shit too in there. Um, so focus on the Saturn thing that you need to do right away. Um, when, when Venus goes into Pisces, Leo, keep that shit to yourself. Whatever you got to say, keep it to yourself. Um... God, don't know, but I feel this, okay? So, yeah, keep that shit to yourself. What, um, decisions you got to do, prioritize that. Um, wh whatever it is, let's say you had to, like, don't, if you got to take, let's say somebody says she's taking less hours at work, that makes sense. Because Saturn rules your sixth house and is in the seventh house. Some of you are confronting a partner. You have to make a decision with a partner. Some of you have to work, work, focus on you, on you, whatever that may mean, may mean to you. So I need you to worry about that instead. Um, yeah, that's the best way I can explain that. Um...
Somebody said one of their yes. A lot of you don't date your coworkers. You got Pluto in your sixth house. They just you having a transition in careers. Um, ain't money, Leo. You've been selling yourself short for a couple years. So some of you don't realize this, but you're transitioning your finances. That's why when Saturn goes into Pisces, you need to save a little bit. And when Saturn goes into Pisces, let me tell you something. When I started my astrology stuff, it happened when Saturn and Capricorn was in my seventh house. Then now I had the last three years, Saturn has been in my eighth house. So if you're working on some business service, bitch, this is the time. Okay, so I do recommend that. Uh, don't pay attention to that. So... Um, if you're working on your own project, so sometimes you need to make a decision. Like I said, this month again, there's like either against your job or the, or the goal that you had working with your partner, whatever that may be, you know, that's Leo shit. So for those that are, are in a relationship, I feel like you guys are, that y'all should be working together because the sun and Saturn is together. Y'all should be on the same page together. Um... Some of you have to go see, you have to make a decision about paperwork, career, boss, whatever. Some of you have to do, um, prioritize, what is it, an elder? Some of you have an elder that needs to be taken care of in your life. I don't know if that makes sense. Or a child that needs to be taken care of. There's certain things that are happening to a certain to some Leo's children. That might be a theme. Work on that this month. So love ain't really there, but some of you do have um, sex. So if you do have sex this month, Leo, with your neighbor or your coworker, let me know. Thank you. Shout out to that, Leo. Okay, Leos, if you have sex with your coworker, tell me. Okay, Virgo. Damn, Leo Moon, and I've been responsible for my grandma for three months. Okay, thank you. Body hit differently. Thank you. Just want to fuck with you. Honestly, I like to say that to get the girls, the, the girls that follow me that do astrology or tarot, I like to get their panties in a bundle. So if you hear me talk shit all the time, I just I just want beef. <laughs> that's, that's the tea. <laughs> if, you, if you come in here and you hear me talk shit, it's just because I want beef. <laughs> that's really what it is. Um. Okay. Virgo, sun, moon, and rising. This fits more for, obviously, if you're a Virgo rising. If you're a sun and Virgo, listen to the career parts and shit, stupid. Um, if you're a moon and Virgo, this is more about your personal stuff. Um, this is being saved, so hang on. Let's actually not start off with... Okay, I'm going to save Virgo, and then I'm going to end this one over here that I'm recording for YouTube. Um, anyways, so let's see. Okay, boom. Some... Some Virgos that are, they're single people. Obviously, if you're single, obviously, this ain't for you. I'm talking to the TikTokers who are always in a relationship and they're always looking for a relationship. So I'm here for them. Um, anyways, let's see. G let's see what's going on at that month. Let's see. Hang on a second. Where are we going? Virgo. Jupiter is in your eighth house. Uh, Mercury is in your fifth house. Yeah. Okay, so some Virgos, they the first half of February, you're into relationships. Or you or an old lover comes back. Because Mercury is reggaetoning in your fifth house. So some old lover may have come back to you. Some Virgo, I don't know if that makes sense to you. Um, some of you that are in a relationship is about... Some of you are dealing with... Uh, this is also your home, house issues. Or... Like, some of you have legal issues coming up, Virgo. Oh, they in there. Oh, they, they fucking up in here. Um, this is for the, those, listen, listen, if it resonates, baby, listen. She's not listening. She's not listening. She keeps talking. Okay. Um, Virgo, let's keep going. Virgo, the ruler of your relationships is, um, in the eighth. Some of your partners are far away from you, either on a trip or doing something for work or on work projects for some of you. Um, some of you have to fix some things in your life. Who, you, Some of your attitudes should be changing, Virgo, because hello, you, you different, my friend. Um... 
what else? Virgo. So your partner should be working, should be going through some family stuff as well. But I feel like this year family, uh, for some reason, because Jupiter is the fourth house. So some of your family is developing or doing things. Either you, you guys are either meeting up together or they're um, dealing with some type of crisis. I don't know if that makes sense to you. Um, what else I was going to say? Yeah, so what else? Then we have... Oh, shit, I got to go. Fuck, y'all. We... I'm sorry. We can't do all the signs. I don't know. I'm already getting tired. I don't know how these people do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, no, for real, though, Virgo. I feel because your partner is in the second house, some of you have secret relationships or, you're doing, or you want to do a secret relationship or you're thinking about a secret relationship or you're changing your personality or people are attacking your personality. That's funny because my friend is a Virgo and I was dead to talk attacking her personality. <laughs> um, anyways, Venus is going to be in your seventh house, which means that your partner may have to deal with some pa paperwork, legal crap. Um, something is coming up for their asses. I don't know what the fuck that's about, but uh, hopefully that makes sense. Then towards when Mercury goes into Aquarius, you're going to be thinking about work a lot. You honestly, I think Virgo's just really thinking about money right now as well with Leo. <laughs> they, when you have eighth house placements, it could, it could go either way, y'all. It could be an intense relationship. Yes, great sexual. Or it could be another type of intensity that I do not want to go there. Um... So there could be changes, again, more to you and your home or your family, uh, more to making a decisions for yourself. Um, some of you, like I said, have trips that you have to go to. Some Virgos or their family got some trip. Um, somebody said my Virgo rising partner moved for, uh, for work out of state. Yeah. My ex is a Virgo son and rising and turned out he's married and I told his wife so sounds about right if they're having issues. Yeah, that makes sense. They're getting exposed. There's some type of secret relationship. <laughs> some type of crisis came up. Shout out to that. Look at that. When Mercury goes into Aquarius, I guarantee he's going to have to move the hell out. He's going to have to move out of his house. Well, that sounds bad. Um, okay. The good, I know a Virgo remodeling his home, so he better work. Okay, better. That makes sense. So thank you so much, uh, Virgo. Shout out to that. Have a great time. All right. All right. Libra placement. Shout out to that. Look at that. Jupiter's in our seventh house. That's not that great. I could tell you that. I could have told you that. Um... Chiron been there already doing this motherfucking thing, especially to us. I'm a son. I matter of fact, Chiron is directly opposing my son currently. Is it? I just need to know. That motherfucker been a damn. She's at 12 degrees the whole thing. I was about to say. That should been how long it been at 12 degrees? Because I felt that shift. Oh, since the six. That's a fact. Word. Chiron been on my ass for the entire month. Wow. Yay fun i'm excited okay back to Lib libra libra partners what am i getting your partners libra sun moon and rising your partners man your partners one could be on a trip one could be working from home oh that's another one sorry two three <laughs> Um, damn, what was I saying? Three. What else is that? I'm trying to figure it out. Some of you are not into relationships, Libra. Some of you want to end something. Some of you want to end some type of relationship. Some of you are got a lot on your plate from either work or, um, what the fuck is that? Who the hell is that? Uh, mm, mm, mm. Oh, it's funny because my dad's been calling. I haven't picked up his call. Sorry, I just thinking about what I thinking about myself. Yeah, so um honestly, Libra, you giving more career and you're distracted and you want to get rid of whatever is holding you back. Um some of your partners could be dealing with something 
that you don't necessarily see or they're far away or they're on a trip or they're they're having situations with their grandparents or siblings um some of them have to work on uh when mercury goes into aquarius you'll be a little flirty yeah okay girl um i guess you'll be able to talk eye to eye more leo so that'll happen in the middle i mean excuse me libra that'll happen when mercury goes into aquarius around the 12th you'll be able to communicate better or your partner it'll whatever's going on that's been stagnant communicates better they could be going to the doctor or the judge or um they could be having legal crap going on or um they 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 your partner don't look very well right now my friend <laughs> i'm sorry uh, let's see what we got in the comments. Um, my Libra son is, is taking a pay cut to get good benefits. Should we, he wait? Um, yeah, she should wait. You got, you feel me? Um, he should wait. He should make some money this month, though, February. Yeah, a lot on our fucking play. I know Libra Rising that's married with a side piece all under the same job. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, Jupiter is the ruler of your sixth house. Mars is in the ninth house. You could get get you could get married. I thought it was for money though. Um, maybe I don't know if you're getting if you're getting married for money. Shout out to that. Put me on. Lilith into our eleventh house of gains. I wish that for you, Libra. For real. Um, my mark, my partner's emotionally fucked. That makes sense because Mercury's in the fourth house and is the depositor of your Mars, which means that your partner is going through a psychological internal battle. Um, a lot of work going to massage school and getting, I don't know, fellow, something certified. Yeah, he's going through it. Uh, Libra rising, focus on career. Yeah, I would focus there too. And if you're listening to this and you do not have a partner, but you have a baby father, bitch, that is your partner. No offense to you, but let me brush your bubble <laughs> if you're listening to that. She's like, yeah, that sounds like my my baby dad, though. Yeah, because um, you're still st you're still next to him. You're still attached to him. So thank you. Um, the sun is supposed to be transiting in our fifth house. So we're supposed to be feeling love, whatever that means to you. Your concept of love has been changing, Libra, and your relationship with your dad. Um, I don't know if we definitely, I've, I definitely purged some childhood shit the other day. It was crazy. Yeah. Realization moments. That's fun. I, I don't know if you already realized that Libra, but you didn't have a childhood. That was fun. Saturn and Saturn and Aquarius gang. No childhood. Let's get it. So yeah, I hope that makes sense. Um, Jupiter's in our seventh house is better for your business than anything else. So get to that Birkin. You heard? Is gonna Jupiter in the seventh house is better for you business, social media, service, upgrading your job. Like in my job, I finally told my boss, like, listen, I have a degree and I'm probably smarter than you. I literally told my boss the other day, I said, Do you have a degree? He's like, No, I've been here for the company. Da, da, da. Bitch, I got my degree, so what the fuck you go? I'm sorry, sorry, I got a little upset. Thank you. Anyways, I will shout out to that. Okay. Let's see, we missed some shit. Where's the comments? Well, I'm on live. For those that are new here, I'm on live in Instagram. Uh, because that's the only way I could really read. I don't know how people record themselves on YouTube. That's weird. It gives weird vibes to me. Um, yeah. Got better, actually. Yes, the relationship with him got better. That's good, because we're supposed to communicate more, Libra. So I hope that makes sense. Sing out. We're reading the comments. I pray that my Tia's uh, relationship with Abuelito changes. She's a Libra. Yeah, her relationship with her dad is tough, kid. Trust me, my dad been calling me. I don't care. He can keep calling. Got a new job, no money. Mo money, excuse me. Me too, I had a convo about meeting someone like my dad with my mom, and she's going through her second Saturn return, and she's still trying to hold on to him. Um, it's very, this is some sad. I'm feel for her. She's going to school in accounting, Libra. Nice. Yes, I told my coworker I don't like to stay on the phone all day and drag conversations. Yes. Oh, that's so funny. I literally said the same thing to my job. I was like, please, let's not... Let's not, let's stop, let's, let's, let's stop the charades, bro. Like, I'm probably smarter than you. Stop talking to me like I need to be. The way he was, he was trying to train me on the most smallest thing. I said, let me tell you something, brother. I went to school for four years in electrical engineering, and I was homeless the entire time. And I was full-time employee. I was a full-time manager, a supervisor at my job, homeless, 
and went to full-time school. So this bullshit that you got going on over here is a walk in the park for me. Please stop. Thank you. Anyways, let's go on to Scorpio. Up next, Scorpio. Up next. I like when they say that in the movies. All right, Scorpio. Fun. Fun bags. It is Scorpio. Scorpio, you're a you're an interesting human being. I honestly think you're a very really interesting human being. Your love your love relationship this month will be entertaining for that <laughs> for the purposes. So for some of you right now partners that are Scorpio, you got a couple things going on. Some of you are arguing and breaking up and letting go of partners and they're or they're leaving the home. That's a fact. Um, or they want to come back home. I don't know what that means for you. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Um, some of you already work from home. That's already a thing. Some of you had tried, you know, those Scorpios that are cheaters. They've been trying other people. I'm, I'm going to let you know. They've been, they, they've been messing around with their coworker slap. I don't know. Um, if you want me to tell you the truth that he's been missing around and when, and then, and then, uh, if you have a Scorpio man, he's pretty soon, his little ass is going to go talk to the little secret girlfriend that he got going on. So if you want me to tell you the truth, some of, some of your partners, if your Scorpio is doing the right thing, he's worth it. He's thinking about money career. He's thinking about business. I feel for you. Some of you have a child that needs the priority or pay attention to that child. So I hope that makes sense. Some of your partners needs to work on a goal that's very important to them, and they focus on that shit, um, or the loss of some shit that they just had or something. I gotta let you know that that's the bochinche. That's what they told me. Okay, tell me. Um, no, this is, if y'all didn't come, if y'all come in here to looking for money, this is the wrong one. I'm doing a love, I'm doing the love reading for the lovers <laughs> who wants to do, they want to be, they want to talk about love. They don't care about money. I talk about money all the time. Um, my husband and I are deciding if we're going to separate and divorce. Nice. Sounds like a plan that you guys come up with that right now, which is the plan of that loss or whatever you guys come up with that Jupiter's in your sixth house of karma. Um, the family is a priority and he gonna give you money anyway. So shout out to that. Um, let's see. Virgo. It, come. I'm, I'm also already connected physically with someone else. New. Oh my God. Scorpio. <laughs> you hear me? You see what the fuck I'm saying? Yup. Get, yup. Scorpio. You listen, you know, Scorpio men can never be by themselves. They're going to be right next under another person, but he under you texting the other person just in case, cause they can't be by themselves. Um, anyway, so yes, I just wanted you to know that girl, he's cheating. You cheating, he's cheating. Whoever's a Scorpio rising, they cheating. They dirty. I don't, I don't like them, but some of you are some Scorpios that are doing the right thing. I bangs, I bangs with that because some of y'all are really building shit together. Like, I know a Scorpio Rising that has a business with her husband, and they buying trucks, they buying warehouses, they getting a coworker started, they getting they, I mean not coworkers, they getting the um employees hired. They in business, they in the move, they in movement, y'all. I don't know about y'all, I don't know about y'all. Not here, Scorpio. Listen, that's the good thing about Scorpio. Um, uh, but the but the other Scorpio. You already know. He the bottom of the Department of Sanitation, y'all. <laughs> I could have told you that. Now you, I don't even got to look at his chart, y'all. <laughs> he, he has Scorpio. He's the bottom of San. That's it. Department of Sanitation. Um, that's a little, you know, I'm just going to let you know. Or, again, he could be doing more things with his friends. Like, it depends. If you look at your Scorpio, right, and he, like, doing projects on the Internet, Leave his man, leave that man alone, y'all. He is not cheating. If your man is a Scorpio and you see him working on like house projects, working on doing business with his friends, um, trying to plan something, leave that man alone. That's what that North Node is. He's fine. He's not cheating. But he ain't doing nothing for the, you. And you know that he ain't got no new job. He ain't got um, new friends, nothing. And he... He cheating, girl. I ain't cheating, but homeboy about to be cut. Okay, that's cool. 
Scorpion men are sick. Okay, I just want you to know that. I just want you to know that. I'll leave it at that. We're going to leave it at that. I hope that resonates for you, uh, Scorpio. Anyways, up next, Sagittarius. Because we got to go. I got to smoke. Uh, I gotta, uh, okay. I got to tell you. All right, Sag. Let's go. Let's get into it. Like, there's nothing to it. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Um, I feel some Sagittarius, they're ready to date, go out and about and do their motherfucking thing. Some Sagittarius have a child that becomes a priority. Some Sagittarius is rising. Your partner is aggressive, is on a mission. He or she is doing his own thing. They're either far away from you or, or they're doing creative projects. Um, some Sagittarius, your if your part if you're a Sagittarius and your partner is doing something creative, leave that man alone. Or is he working on a overseas project? He's fine. If your partner is doing some spiritual projects, he's fine. He's not cheating. Leave that man alone. Stop arguing with these people. Why are you arguing with people? Some Sagittarius have a bigger fish to fry. Your health, your work, your routine. That in alignment. Why are you in his business? Why you are not in your business, Sag? I'm just saying. You got to get to this bag. You feel naive me? Money slowed up. But you worried about the wrong things. My bad. I'm just fucking with you. Um, up in February. Let's see something. Hang on. What the hell? What the hell is that? My, my, my leg is falling asleep, yo. What is this? All right. Um, Sag son single. I met a dude at the airport, and immediately he was questioning me and calling me too much. So I stopped answering, focused on that bag. Hello, thank you. Um, yeah, you're out, m ready to mingle. Hang on, let me go. I'm just checking. I'm just checking on a check, check, checks. Oh, Pisces. Just in case you never know, this is my song too. In case you never know, oh oh. Yeah, uh, so inside, you're going to have something personal happening more than anything. So I think you should focus on that. Okay. And look, and look after grandma. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, so uh, relationships for Sag is either you're arguing or you're meeting someone aggressive. Or your your partner is busy on something, creating something. They Or you don't know what he's doing. Because it's the 12th house ruler. <laughs> so I don't know if that makes sense to you. Um, okay, let's see. Let's see the comments. Sag women fucking... Uh, sorry. Yo, I'm a Sag and my friend, co-worker, triple Gemini, did me dirty at work, so I'm trying to get out of there. Yeah, I would... You got other shit going on in your life, whether it's business, whether it's a, a work-related co-workers, or uh, changes in your home, or with grandma, or health issues, or... Um, you got shit pending that looks way more important. Some of you, Saturn trying to get you a good job, but it does make you argue with people. So remember that, Sad. Use a little argumentative little bitch the last couple of years. So hope that makes sense. All right. Um, Sag, I think that's really much it. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm getting from you, Sag. Your partner could be going through something in, like, problems. Let that person do the problem. Because we all, you got problems. So I just want to let you know that. Um, they, you know, I just want to let you know that. Have fun though, Sag. If you're meeting new people, have fun. So as Jupiter will be there all the way to May 16th, don't rush. Don't have, you know, they're, they're coming for you, honey. And they, the North Node will be there, so don't trip if you're single. Okay, Capricornio. Damn, there's so many. We only got three, four more signs. All right, let's get through it. All right, let him. Okay, sorry. Um, your ruler of your relationships is the moon and the Venus. And the Venus. And what I'm getting is that your partner has changes going on in their home. Capricorn. As some of you have their Your partner has changes going on in their home. Your priority is you getting your shit together at home. I don't know if that makes sense. Some Capricorns might end up moving with their partner. Someone this year. I don't know. 
Um, your partners may have been throwing you some different curveballs, so they came in and out or left, whatever. I don't know what that means for you. Um, again, their family might be a little bit intense. I don't know if you've been dealing with a partner who has an intense family or they have kids or I don't know. But, well, let's see. When Venus, what's going on? You're, the new moon is coming up in your eighth house. So you might see more of your partner's family coming up. The full moon, excuse me. And then the new moon has you. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Seeing they family more or they have um, a bigger fish to fry. Like, for instance, like for cancers are moving and Capricorn, that's your opposing sign. So, yeah, your partner looks like they're moving or they got to have serious conversations with you. Um yeah. I'm just saying. Indeed. What oh shit, what happened? We glitched. What happened? Sorry, hang on. My parents, my mom is a Sash, they arguing and, and Gemini dad just trying to work. Yeah, just leave that man alone, Sag. Come on. Grandma was just admitted to the NYU hospital while I was visiting home in New York City. Yeah. I would pay attention to that, y'all. We good. I don't know what happened. So, yeah. Um, what was it going on? We was going on. What is it? Cap. Yeah, Capricorn placements. Your partner may um, having serious, you know, good conversations, family, emotional conversations. Um, yeah, it's, it's fun. Some Capricorns, they're cheaters. Or they want to cheat or looking at other people at their job or in the streets. Because they're, they're a little bit slutty. And that's okay. Mm -hmm. Or you may not know the full story of your partner, Capricorn. I got you. Um, does that make sense? I have a kid and they recently spend more time together. Nice. Look, somebody's... Uh, my partner is a Capricorn rising and I have a kid and they spend more time together. Look! Look at that. Capricorn, they something with a kid. I don't know. <laughs> That's fun. Look at that. Look at, look, easy and easy peasy. So those that are, if you are a single cap corny, that's all good. Um, you might be FaceTiming a hoe. You, you already know, kid. I already know how you, your hotline blinging, kid. You, you them people on, you Capricorn, you them people on Tinder? Let me find out. Is Capricorn on Tinder? Um, I'm a Capricorn sun, Capricorn Venus, and na my now ex, a cancer sun, definitely moved out December 5th and moved in with the ops. <laughs> okay. Yes, I'm there. Yeah, that's a lot, kid. I'm moving, too. Well, that sounds, that's all, folks. Thank you, Capricorn, for participating on that sleigh. Hello. Okay, Aquarius, um, your partner is coming for you, baby. Your partner... Your partner may be showing you an addictive personality, Aquarius. And your partner is coming for you. I don't know what that means. So some Aquarius says, are you, are you getting married? Um, are you getting married? Well, some of your partners are working out. Or they're taking care of their health and they have to. Um, what else is going on for you, my son? Um, some Aquarius says you got more expenses than usual, you hear? Either the kids or your partner, they, they got you spending money on that honey. I don't know what that means. Aquarius, you're getting, are you getting married? Somebody says, nope, deleting most apps, trying to meet a person, focus on money and building otherwise. Yes, Capricorn, that's a, that's right, Capricorn. Get to that bag, you hear me? With the, with this new... Don't worry about that soon, Grasshopper. When Pluto gets out of Capricorn, we're going to be moving in to a new world. A whole new world. You like that? That was fire. Um, okay, okay, let's see. Aquarius says, you getting married? Let me see your ring. Um, yes, yeah, so some of you... Some partners are working out, you know? Some partners are coming for you. Some of your, some partners have a, a curveball coming their way. Um, let 
Hey, this is a interesting. They got to make a decision this month. That's a fact. Aquarius, let's see. Some of you are making moves, right? You're saying what it needs to be said. And Sammy, uh, there, there was a song that Sammy, was, I forgot the name of that fucking song. I'm going to come back. When I get it back, I'll, you get into that bag instead, Aquarius. I hope you keep that bag, retain that bag, hold it. Venus is going to go into Pisces, bitch. We get, we trying to get to this Birkin, you heard? I don't see none of that, that other extra shit. Your partner may have legal shit going on in their life. Let that hoe go. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, love you. Some of your partners are learning or they're in school. Hey, shout out to that, Lee. Who's that partner who's learning or working on trips or traveling? Some of them. They might happen. Or I don't know if it happens this February or in March, but somebody going on a trip. Okay. Uh, some of you have a child that needs to go on a trip. Is that what it is? One of your children is going on a trip on the favorite record ship? I don't know. Let me know, Aquarius. To me, this month is going to be intense because you have the full moon and the new moons happening in your sign. So have fun, my friend. Um, look cute, though, while you're doing it. Money's coming in, though. Extend, though. You're supposed to get more money now. That You have you spending, but you're going to get some money now. Um, I think you're working more. Sorry, we're taking a trip in March. Shirley, what the hell? You should got you guys should see if you guys should see the comments on Instagram. I do this for fun, yo. Honestly, it really tickles my fanny. Cause then I go look at other people do their readings on live and shit. And I'm like trash basura. I be like, you mad kid? I know. Listen, it be 150 of us in here or whatever. Right now it's 118, and I know y'all go to other lives and you're like, really? This is all you got? That's all you got for Sagittarius, Libra. Uh, give me best though. Mm, extend though. I'm on these bitches' neck. <laughs> for real, baby. I got my foot on their neck. Can can I'm not taking my foot off their necks no more. I lay listen, I I, I had to take a vacation for a month and basura is out there. Trash. Garbage. Basura. You feels naive me? Give me best though. Extendo, I'm on these bitches. You feel me? Stop playing. They don't. I don't know. They do exist. No, 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 no. I I love astrologers. I'm talking about the readers. I love astrologers. I'll talk to an astrologer all day. Astrologers, all day. The other readings, trashy, trashies, trashy, trashy, trashy. I don't like it. Anyways, let's keep going. Pisces, um, because we only got two signs left. We got to get the hell out of here. Okay, let's go. Mercury's and Capricorn. Pisces, your partner seems to be focused on the kids or using the kids as a tactic. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, some of you and your partners are working on a goal. I don't know, girl. You look like you're going through it together. You know what's funny? Because what's her name? Christian Rock is a Pisces. And look, so let's read it in terms of her. Um, so the 11th house, that means all of your business is out on display or you talking about it or you guys working on a goal together or the child is important this month. I don't know. Um, some of you have to spend expenses when the sun goes into your 12th house. Uh, hopefully you get some rest, my friend. Um, by the way, I'm going to be posting these on fudge sticks. I'm going to be making a post on this. I'm going to do the YouTube. I'm, yeah, I'm going to upload it on YouTube. That's a fact. Okay, so anyways, Spicy's um, partner is working on a goal or is a, a thinking about f you, the kids more or um, some of you have to deal with routine changes. Um, some of you have to, I don't know, the in-law might be involved. Some of you have to go speak to your in-law, your partner's mother figure i'm just getting mother because i saw the moon there um for those that are in a relationship obviously some of you pisces are talking to people either from work as well because apparently that's what you got or um a friend may have hit you back up i think uh something like that i don't know if that makes sense to you but pisces you could be getting to this birkin too because jupiter is in your second house or doing family events some of you are hanging out more with friends. Some of you just got 
I don't know. I don't think you lost a friend, honestly. But you're talking more to friends. I don't know if that makes sense to you. Um... Okay, I am going to be posting the, it'll be on YouTube, the two, um, some, let's see, some of you got, yeah, like some mainly is major expenses to me, Pisces. You got major expenses or bills coming up because those were the, that's where the sun and the luminaries are stationed at right now. Um, some of you have to take a kid to the doctor. Some of you, not all of you, but some of you might have to take one of your kids to the doctor. The ruler of the moon is your children is going to go in the 12th house some point next month. So, um, yeah, Pisces hanging out with your friends is better. I don't really see the love department. Uh, uh, uh some of you need a new iPhone. That's a fucking fact. My bad. <laughs> Um, some of you, yeah, I think that's what it is. I'm not really getting anything for your partners. Let me see. Let's just make sure. Let's just say, let's make sure. Oh, okay. You know what? Your partner is changing. If you have a partner or relationship with someone, Pisces, their routine is changing. Their job is changing. So their work environment or whatever is going on at work is changing for them. Um... Also, that may me yeah, that makes sense. Some of your Mars is going to be focusing you more at home, buying things at home, fixing up your home because Mars is now direct. And with Mercury and Aquarius, it'll make a trine. So it'll be expenses in the home because Mars is going to trine that, I guess. I hope that makes sense to you, little slut bucket. Sorry, no offense. You're going to have more luminaries happening in the 12th and the 8th house so or more planets coming in there. So you usually, like... Do better when that happens anyway, so. Yeah. My partner, yes, my partner is getting a new job this week. Yeah, taking my daughter to the dentist. I know that you got to take your doctor. Yes, rising, going to work with my brother and our kids online. And you're moving out. And your sibling is the, your rainness in the North Node. Gotcha. Look at that. Look at God. All right, Pisces, that was a great time. Shout out to that. Uh, my old friend just hit me up and that I met in on vacation in Miami. Planning to buy a car. I thought it was, uh, yeah, I can see you spending some money. Yes, Pisces, go ahead, spend that bag. You hear me? Spend that money, then leave. You're upgrading yourself. Upgrades. Um, Aries, and then we're done. And then I'm out of here, and it's going to go on the tube, and then you got to watch it over there. And if somebody loves me and does timestamps, you're amazing. So whoever's on, who, listen, matter of fact, shout out to this moment right here in time. Whoever does a timestamp and I know you on Instagram and I see you doing timestamp, which is you helping out the team and the movement, you get a free reading from me. Hey, an incentive. So if you go and that means you got to, uh, I'm, I need, I need to see work. You see the type of work that I put into. So don't go in there like, oh, I did the timestamp for Scorpios. No, bitch. Help a sister out. So if you want a free reading, I'm going to need you to go do some timestamps on some of these things that are coming up. Um, you get free reading. Thank you. Make sure that it has your name so I can find you on Instagram or something. I don't know. Okay. So anyways, Aries, let's get to it. Um, I don't know what a timestamp is. Literally, um, the, the timestamps is basically... You literally, you're going to, hey, listen, you're going to have to figure it out, baby. <laughs> figure it out. I'm sorry. Basically, when you get the, you're going to see a YouTube video and it's going to be like an hour long. But then you literally drop down like the 10th, uh, the uh, four minutes in or 413 is when Aries start or whatever. I don't know. That's the best way I can explain it. Um, anyways, Aries, Venus is, let's see, what is going on this month for February? Um... Okay, Aries, um, some Aries have kids stuff coming up, so a lot of kids events will be happening, and a lot of career changes more than anything happening, maybe with the bosses or what you actually do at work, because of Mercury, you're still in there, that's February though, but in your partnerships, what I'm getting is, um, at first y'all was cool, y'all was out and about with family, I guess, and this is for people, even if this is your baby father, bitch, I don't care. 
But now your partner looks like their routine changed or you guys are spending more time together in an intimate. Okay, Aries, you having S-E-X trying to make sense and then it's going to go crazy. Okay, Aries, so I'm getting that. That's the vibes I'm getting. Okay, you getting, you getting them bed pleasures or some of you are working too damn much that's really another t it's either you working too damn much or your partner's not around if you're single ready to mingle aries is also giving like you was on tinder um aries is also giving like their bedding i don't know but why your bed sticks out maybe your bed changes that makes sense um or your your i don't know your business is dealing with new customers too i don't know if that makes sense too aries um um, this month for February, I'm not, you're focused on some type of lover. I'm not, I'm not too sure who this lover is. If it's a new lover or is an old lover, but you're focused on some lover and you like this one. Cause Jupiter got you feeling optimistic about life. Um, uh, some of you Aries are having emotional conversations with your partner. You know, your partner will be more into you uh, somehow. I feel, I like this, Aries. Some of you may actually talk to someone, whether it's online or whether it's an old friend. Some of you get some S-E-X. Um, can you tell me if you have sex, um, Aries, please, th please, on YouTube, make sure you write that in the comments. I had sex. I'm sorry. <laughs> My Aries rising. I'm getting flown, and he's definitely in situations that I that I really like. Uh, okay, Aries, you're getting flown out. We catch a flight. No longer feelings. Okay. I bet. Say no more. Um, you should. Is we going to find out? They going to listen. I got to pick the person anyways. I'm going to find out. Um, let me know Aries. Okay. So it looks, somebody said that, um, if you are in Aries and you're single and nothing's happening in your love life. Something will change with you internally, sexually. So I don't know if you start watching a different type of porn. Also, let me know that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Sex has been 10 times better. Really? Wow. I don't like that because I know a moon in Aries that I don't want him to have good sex. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I hope that makes sense to those that are listening via your partner. Oh, 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 shit. What the fuck? Hang on, I'm fucking up my phone. What did I just do? Okay. So, anyways, that is the reading of the day. Thank you. We did the love department. I'm going to be posting this. Aries, um, my serious ex is giving me, is taking me out to lunch today. Might give him some. Okay, girl. Okay, Aries. Here, you y'all going out and about? Wow. Okay. Heavy on the Aries moon, not having sex. Nah, nah. Ooh, okay. I like that. If you're an Aries moon, please tell me when you do have, um, if you're missing an old partner from 2021, thank you. Thank you. If you're an Aries, tell me if you're missing a partner that was with you in 2021. Thank you. I love you. Shout out to that if you're an Aries and that's going through that. So I'm going to end.